Hey guys, Bluefin Hunter back again with another Babel unboxing. Today I'm going to be unboxing my very first Burst Super Z or Burst Turbo Beyblade, and that is, of course, winning Valkyrie or Wonder Valtrak V4. So, yeah, I just mentioned this is my first Burst Turbo Beyblade or Super Z Beyblade because I was originally going to get one, uh, like, back in September, but it was already too much, so instead I just got Spriggan Requiem and uh, Flash Sagittario, so instead I waited to get the Hasbro version because it was cheaper. But yeah, this is of course very different from the Hasbro, or not the Hasbro, the Takara Tomy version, or the Takara version, because for one, it's not metal, because with the Takara version, it was like metal, like with the HMSs and the MFBs. Mostly the HMSs, but with this, for some reason, Hasbro downgraded this to the plastic version. I don't know why. And, of course, this is the new Slingshock uh, system, which not a lot of people are liking for some reason. Like, guys, it's still a Beyblade. Whatever version you get, it's still a Beyblade. Whether if it's Hasbro, Takara, Sonocon... Heck, even Rapidity or TT Hongli, it's still a Beyblade, no matter what. Even if it's fake or not, it's still a Beyblade. But, <laughs> that's a topic for another day. But, yeah, of course, like the previous Valkyries, it is a attack type. And, at the back, same thing. Not much, but it shows the new Slingshock system, which can extend the tip of the driver which is pretty cool and yeah we got the stats both the attack and the agility is pretty good burst is decent and the defense is not so great and the way of the Beyblade is not too great as well and yeah of course it comes with the new launcher which I'm not too of a fan of, I don't know, just the way it looks, it's, uh, I don't know, it's not really a good Beyblade launcher. I mean, I know they're supposed to be different and unique, which each generation, but with this, to me, it's kind of meh, but I don't know, that's just me. Uh, so, let's go ahead and open this. So here's the parts, launcher, and the box. Alright, so I'm going to go through the parts as always. So here's the layer. Looks really, really nice, even if it's not metal. What can you do? It's Hasbro. Here's the disc. Also looks nice, and the driver. And I think it was blue in the Takar version, which I'm pretty sure it was. I forgot, but yeah, you can extend the tip just like at the back of the box. You can just push it back. Can. There you go. And here is Winning Valkyrie. Did I just break the tip? Or is it supposed to be like this? I don't know. So here's the launcher. So, you know, it really looks weird compared to the other burst launchers or even the other launchers in general. They literally just reuse the Burst Evolution Ripcord, but just model the new uh, launcher. It's not very good. So, I'm going to compare with the previous Valkyries. So, I actually completed all of them, believe it or not. So, here is the very first Valkyrie, Valkyrie Wing Axel. And Victory Valkyrie. And God Valkyrie. 
and it does look like an updated version. Okay, now for the other Beyblades. So here's Dragoon MS, which is basically the equivalent to that. As well as uh, Big Bang Pegasus. Also, Samurai Pegasus. Alright, just going to put this on the side. Put this on the side, so I can have room for this. Alright, so I finally have all the Valkyries. So I got Wing Axle, Victory Valkyrie, God Valkyrie, and the newest one. Winning or Wonder Valkyrie. And uh, I know there are a couple of more Valkyries, like the newest one that just came out, but I probably won't get that once it's released in Hasbro form. I know it's kind of stupid, but I'll wait for that because it's cheaper than what I'm getting online. So let's go ahead and test spin Winning Valkyrie. All right, so here's the test spin for Winning Valkyrie or Wonder Valtrag V4. And yes, I am using the Dracaea Fortress Stadium for this one, and I haven't used it in a while, actually, because I actually tried this not too long ago, and I had some problems testing it out because of the new Slingshock system. And it's not very good if you use it on different stadiums. So for these types of Beyblades, you will need the Slingshock Stadium for this, which I currently don't have. So I'll just use whatever I have for now, and I'll just use the Mediocre Launcher, which I don't really like to use, but for the sake of this video, why not? So I'm going to launch it at an average speed, and so it doesn't go crazy. Also, as I mentioned in the unboxing portion, you can extend the driver's tip. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate the first one. Let's see if it doesn't go berserk again. Alright, close enough, but you get the basic gist of it for the first uh, mode of the driver. So now I'm going to showcase the second driver's mode, which is this one right here. So this has less endurance or stamina than its first driver's mode. And yeah, I know I launched it at a slow speed, but you know, it's gonna go berserk again. So I don't wanna risk that. But yeah, this is how it goes, pretty much. And it stands like, any other Beyblade, but yeah, so all in all, this is a mediocre Beyblade, but it's not that bad in some areas. All right, so that's it for this unboxing of Winning Valkyrie, the Hasbro version. I will get the Dakar version, but probably next year because, you know, I don't have time to just buy the Japanese versions because I already have them in Hasbro form, but I still want to get both versions. So overall, the Beyblade Burst Turbo Hasbro Beyblades, they're honestly not bad. Even though there are some flaws with it, like for one, the layer is not metal, like the Takara version, and the launchers are very disappointing in terms of design, like look at this. And they literally just reuse the same ripcord from Burst Evolution. And, like, I don't know, it's just, it's not very good if you were to compare it with the Takara version. But it's still a Beyblade, it still spins like the Japanese version, and, you know, the previous versions. It's still good in its own way. But despite with all the flaws with the Burst Turbo Beyblades, like the Hasbro versions, I will get more of these because uh, with Wave 1, which, which is right now, uh, they only release this Valkyrie, uh, Z Achilles, uh, the new Longinus, and uh, Fornius, which I'll probably be getting, but I will only do uh, Z Achilles because it's the third iteration of Daichi's Beyblades, and of course Longinus and 
uh, whatever they're going to release in Wave 2. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to check out my other Beyblade unboxings and make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Link will be in the description below. And what do you guys think of the Hasbro Burst Turbo Beyblades? Do you think it's okay or do you think it's a huge downgrade from its Japanese version, which it is? But I want to hear from you guys, not just, you know, from every other Beyblade YouTuber you hear. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and like always, I'm out. Peace.